doubt what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the show by simple show you guys how to cook this beautiful Jamaican oxtail today from Chef Ricardo. All right. Um, if you want to support Chef Ricardo, please click in that bell and support Chef Ricardo. All right. It's a beautiful recipe. And to be honest, 100% you guys will love the oxtail recipe because you know I mean most people love oxtail guys you know and I mean most Jamaican we love our food and we love our oxtail all right so it's a beautiful recipe which I'm going to share with you today and I want you guys to just enjoy it it's, it's fantastic and an amazing recipe all right so Jamaican oxtail we all know that is one of the best in the world with a lot of flavor taste towards it and to be honest you guys will love this one all right it is a sunday dinner and it is a finish up dinner process right now all right so i'm in the kitchen and i'm just gonna simple show you exactly how to finish up this and an amazing hug steel from chef ricardo cooking yes it's a beautiful one guys beautiful recipe all right now what i want to simply say to you it is a simple recipe but there's also a lot of work into it all right to do the jamaican axe steel 100 percent all right guys so what i'm gonna do now this all right just gonna Beautiful Jamaican oxtail recipe from Chef Ricardo. So if you if you did, if you want to watch something lovely, don't go anywhere. Please stay right there and watch this on an amazing oxtail recipe from Chef Ricardo. Alright, it is beautiful and the flavor and the texture to it is just on an amazing one, guys. For you to watch, alright? Beautiful Jamaican oxtail recipe. start the show all right trust me we're gonna start the show right now i was waiting for a few more people but you know today is sunday and a lot of people are cooking with our food and thing at home so let's give them some time you know what i mean to get themselves prepared and ready all right yeah so all right now the beautiful thing what i want to say to you guys that you know what i mean the ox steel is one of the best in the world we all love jamaican ox steel trust me all right. Yeah. All right. Now, let's name it out. All right. But now I'm going to do a whole lot of talking and them all them things there. So basically, earlier, what I want to say, because the cooking the oxtail from scratch is going to take very, very long. So I got part one video, which I marinate the oxtail. But I got other recipe video where I can show you how to cook the oxtail on the YouTube channel. But this bit right here is to show you how, when you cook your oxtail, how to finish it up. Because you don't know what I know, guys. I got, simple. I got some butter bean right here. This is some butter bean. I got some plain flour. All right. We got some bell pepper, carrot, potato, spring onion, and some thyme and bits and pieces. All right. Now, I'm going to show you guys. This recipe is not a normal recipe. It's a recipe from Chef Ricardo. Well, I, I will to share with you today. All right. Now, the ox steel, what I did with the ox steel, I cook it off earlier. All right. Yeah. I cook off the ox steel a little bit earlier because it takes time to cook. All right. So what I do, this is the ox steel falling off the bone. As you can see, that's the best way to cook your ox steel. You have to make you cook it till it fall off the bone. All right. So there's a lot of secret doing ox steel at home. All right. So I have it in the liquid same way. And you know what I mean, it's not a lot of ox steel, you know what I mean, just a few pieces of ox steel. So what I'm going to do, let's put this at the side, alright, I'm going to give you a little bit of tweaking. So this is the pot which I cooked my ox steel earlier in a 
with this pot right here so i still have the liquid same way inside of the pot because i didn't throw away the liquid i keep the liquid all right so what i'm gonna show you now how to finish up the ox tail all right so if you wake up in the early morning and you you know what i mean your pressure cooker your ox tail or uh, whatever you do with it this is a recipe we want to show with you all right now before we go any further i got a little bit of plain flour right here all right just a little bit not much all right so what we want to do we want to just get a little bit of water and you know yeah not too much liquid just a little bit of water all right so what we want to do with this plain flour all right you don't need to put any salt on it you just want to make a little bit of spinach dumpling all right let's put a little bit of water into it and keep mixed around for about a minute all right it's not gonna be it's not a rocket science with this one it's a simple one but let's get this out of the way because when you make jamaican dumpling you have to have these ingredients in it um oxtail sorry guys when you're making jamaican oxtail you have to have some spinach dumpling it's a must all right so and not only that guys as i say it's a beautiful recipe for you to make at home all right so we're just making up you know yeah yeah just a few little spinach can't go wrong you have to have this in it all right now the ox tail is sponsored by the caribbean fusion sauce and spice website all right guys yeah they are the one who these are the one I've been using, Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice Oxtail Season. This one is the top of the line. All right, guys, trust me. This is just one of those kind of recipe where you definitely want for use. All right, their oxtail recipe season is the best. No one pass salt or sugar and all them things in it. It's just perfect. Now, so right here, as you can see, I'm just rolling up the dough. Getting it ready. All right, perfect one, this guys. Trust me. It is Sunday, and a lot of people they home and do a lot of stuff right now. So we don't really want, you know, what I mean, keep the show too long because you know, people they home and cook and all sort of stuff are going on right now. We just wanna do a little bit of ox there. All right, beautiful. So. Once you roll up the dough like this, you are pretty good to go. All right, let's put it for go and rest in the meantime. All right, now it's gonna be the secret part now of the whole show. This is the sweetest part of the whole show right now is the how to finish up this beautiful and an amazing oxtail recipe from chef ricardo today all right so basically i have about quarter pot i have about quarter pot of water and um, liquid from the oxtail which i cooked off earlier this morning but i'm gonna think i'm gonna pour a little bit more in it from this one you know what i mean yeah beautiful and nice all right Alright, now the thing is through the ox tail, you know what I mean, the ox tail is falling off the bone. That's why I did it that way and I take them out from the pot. So what I'm gonna do is slightly cook my vegetable first. So I got one medium sized potato. Alright. Potato. A lot of people doesn't know you can put potato in ox tail. Alright. So that's what I'm doing right here. Is put one medium sized potato. Also carrot, you know what I mean? Yeah. One medium sized carrot into the pot. All right, we got some fresh thyme. I'm gonna put some fresh thyme. We got some spring onion. All right, beautiful recipe, guys. Yeah. That is 
is just so we're gonna put some more spring water into the pot we're gonna put a medium sized tomato I mean bringing some flavor to it lots of vegetable is very good yeah man yeah that is lovely and nice so that look good and it's not too dark I'm gonna put some peppers all right beautiful one guys so we're using the bell peppers all right that is fantastic and an amazing right here it's beautiful look at that all right so we got the carrot, we got the bell pepper, and we got the dough which we're gonna, we're gonna roll up that right now. Make you guys can see what I want. It's a beautiful recipe, guys. I'm just finish up the ox steel today because I said to myself, I wanna give you the guys the full version, all right? And it's a beautiful recipe for you guys to make at home, all right? And not too complicated. The way I'm doing it is just simple, all right? Simple but also delicious, all right? And 100%, you guys definitely can make this at home, all right? Yeah. This is an ox steel recipe going to be somewhere you guys definitely want to make at home. Let's get this up, all right? It's beautiful, guys. So right now, this start to cook, boil up as you can see. All right, it's beautiful. So we just want a carrot and a potato to cook a little bit. Then we're going to put the ox tail in it and make it cook down into the gravy. All right, so it's a secret recipe, definitely for you guys. Look at that, that is lovely. Right over here, this is the dough, which you just made, all right. So what you want to do, let's break off a little piece, all right, and like this, all right, it's beautiful. Yeah man, Sunday dinner, ox tail, <coughs> can't go wrong. Turn the stove a little bit. Cause we now rush the pot. It's beautiful, guys. One hundred percent. Trust me. This is fantastic and an amazing recipe. Oh yeah, that's it. Looking good. Give this a spin. Yeah, we have a lot of vegetable inside of it, alright? Now the thing what we wanna do now. The Caribbean fusion sauce and spice oxtail season. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put a teaspoon of this inside of it, alright? That's gonna bring in a lovely flavor. fantastic and an amazing one all right now what you can do is taste it and see where we are that's a tiny little bit more 
Cause you don't know what happened now guys This season it doesn't got a lot of salt It is on and also vegan friendly Alright It's vegan friendly And it doesn't got a lot of salt Alright Yeah so you can It's just one of those kind of seasons where you You know what I mean It's just perfect for your cooking at home Fantastic and an amazing. All right, now we're just gonna put a little bit of ketchup, not much, inside of it. All right, and that's gonna bring it down. I love the little flavor to it. You don't have to, you know. A lot, you know what I mean? But yeah, that just bring in a lovely little flavor to it. See, so I just want that to cook down lovely and nice. Fantastic guys So what you want to do Cover it a little bit Then after We're going to put in the ox tail But kind of know what we know The ox tail is falling off the bone Alright That's where my ox tail is at the moment So you don't want your ox tail to mash up In the pot So what you do You take them out And you put them in for last Alright Beautiful one from Chef Ricardo cooking today So guys, this is how the ox tail look Cause you know what I mean, I don't want to think Oh, what's your record I do You see, the ox tail is falling off the bone And this is another way How you can cook your ox tail Trust me You cook it and make it a fall off of the bone Then you take it from the pot And have it separately Alright Make up the gravy for your ox tail And then you put the ox tail inside of it You know And then you just take time And simmer into the ox tail Alright Otherwise, you don't have to cook your ox tail too soft you know what I mean? But my own, I go over a little bit with it. Yeah. And that's what happened, you know? It's beautiful, though. Beautiful, fantastic, and an amazing recipe. Good morning, Nicola. Island Kitchen, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate that one. Chef Andre, pick up yourself. Big up yourself, Chef Andre. Big up yourself, man. Shout out to the brother. Share some love. Share some love, guys.
Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it, alright? Yes, guys, I hit this and it's looking good, you know? Yeah. That looking amazing, guys. Trust me, 100%. The flavor and the texture from it is just an amazing. Now, I got some butter bean. What am I going to put inside of it, all right? Perfect. That's the butter bean. All right, because you want the butter bean to boil down inside of the salsa. And give it a lovely taste, you know? Yeah. That looking good. Secondly, we're gonna put our Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper straight into the pot. So that's that the flavor gonna just cook off inside of it. Look at that man, I love oxtail gravy, you know. Oh anyway, this one is a top recipe for you guys. So that's it just boiling up at the moment. Beautiful one. Lady B, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it, man. So that, guys, yeah, man, to boil up properly. The food them cook and the dumpling cook, you know. Make like a spinach and cook inside it, bringing a lovely flavor. Gravy, you know, lots of gravy night.
Yeah, man. Pot looking good. Yeah. Yeah, color look right. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. See that? It's beautiful. Eh? A lot of people when they make all them things and they mix up all corn flour, corn starch, whole pass up them mix up and I put in it. Put it to them almost ready. You don't need to do that, man. Alright. Yeah. When they make it, they mix up corn flour because they want to get a little bit of body. No, 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 you don't do that, man. When you're making Jamaican oxtail, you don't do those. There are certain kind of things you don't do. You will damage your food and it will damage Jamaican reputation, alright? You don't mix up corn flour or plate or flour to take me your, your, you get your sauce the right way, alright? That's been a red flag. Alright, guys? It's a beautiful recipe, trust me. And an amazing, fantastic, 100%. You guys will love it. Today is Sunday, a lot of people busy at cook at home. You know what I mean? It's, uh, just have to just take it easy and keep the show running. All right? Yeah. Chef, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, 100%. All right, now, we have a whole pack of gravy. Cause I need the gravy, you know? yeah. I need the gravy, you know. Ox still gravy is wicked, man. Oh my god. All right, now guys. So this is the thing where I was saying to you when you're making your ox steel. Once you cook it and you make up the sauce like that, you get the ox steel and you put it back in the pot like this. All right. Trust me. You want the ox steel for the fall off of the bone, and then you put it back into this. I'm mean, showing a little bit of thing on the can also do. So if you're at home and you think your, your axe steel go mash up, all you have to do is just take them out of the, the pot. Alright? Oh my god. Oh man, this is not this is not normal thing. Alright, this is not a normal thing from Chef Ricardo. Alright. Right now. Only President Obama alone to so get them a food right now. And I love them ox steel. Trust me. What about ox steel? Rice and peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. President Obama style of cooking. Alright? Yeah. Yeah, man. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at the ox steel, guys. So, basically, the ox steel are fall off of the bone. And that's the way you want to cook the ox steel. It's beautiful. Cover it and you know, allow that to go and cook in the meantime for another couple more minutes. Yeah, man. That's not a normal cooking. This I wanna is a big one. On Sunday, wow, you can't go wrong, man, when you're making this kind of ox steel for a Sunday. And as I say, once you're cooking, this is just a new recipe for certain people who are making ox steel. A lot of people like to use a pressure cooker and pressure the ox steel, but me personally, I don't use pressure cooker. I just cook it in my pot. Take roughly about 45 minutes to an hour, less than the pressure cooker. The way I'm doing it, it takes less than the... If I'm, if to show you that recipe, it's a very secret, unique recipe. How to cook the ox steel and I make it. You don't have to use a pressure cooker. Very, very unique recipe from Chef Ricardo.
this up. Uh, oh, no, no. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, beautiful. And nothing is stuck underneath the pot and all them things there, you know? And you just want the ox still. You know what I mean? For just a little bit more boil off into the sauce. And, you know, you don't want it too black. The last time I met the ox still, it was too dark. But this is just perfect color. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perfect and beautiful. Watch the scotch body pepper whistling inside of the pot. You know what I mean? The potato them cook. Got the bean them in it cook. So things looking good. A few more minutes. And we're gonna switch it off. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just turn off the stove and allow that heat to simmer into it. Alright? It's beautiful. Yeah, that looking really amazing, guys. Nice one. So basically, as I say, you know what I mean? I hit this now. The ox steel in and you know it's not normal. Trust me. Beautiful. Yeah. That is just one of those kind of recipe where you decide to yourself say no what? Uh, <clears throat> you have to make this at one. Let's shear it up. Alright now I have some rice and peas on my cook already, but the rice and peas are finished yet. Alright. So we don't want to keep it too long and dry it out. Alright. Now we're going to put this on the table. Alright. Beautiful. So this is exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about when I said, let's bet the world best ox still. Look at this, guys. Alright. We're going to put this on the table. I mean, family reunion. You're good to go. Yeah. And as I say, when you're making the ox steel, you do not need, if you find the ox steel like, because right now my one to fall off of the bone, and trust me, it is just amazing. Beautiful. And it got everything in it, man. Look at that. Oh my God. Jamaican ox steel. If you want to learn how to make this one, here it is. Yeah, I hit that. Beautiful and lovely. Everyone will be loving this. You know what I mean? The whole family will be happy. Alright? The whole family will be lo loving the axe still right there. Trust me. Let's put it up there. Make you guys can see what I go on. Oh, a little bit too bright. Alright, look at that. It's beautiful. Alright, trust me. One of those top Jamaican oxtail recipe from Chef Ricardo today. Alright. Yeah man, beautiful one. So, now. Alright. Yeah, 
put this on the table and everyone will be loving it. The kids them, you know what I mean? You can't make this even for Father's Day. Father's Day is coming up. Beautiful one from Chef Ricardo cooking today. Stay tuned in, don't get me wrong. We have a lot more recipe coming and as I can see, scotch bonnet prep up on top. Trust me, the ox tail, there's a secret behind it of cooking this ox tail, all right guys? So the secret is, you boil off your ox tail, one of the first. Let me see what I'm going on over here, so. You boil off the ox tail and once you boil it off and it fall off of the bone, you take it out of the pot, make the gravy, and then you just put back the ox tail in it. That's Chef Ricardo secret recipe, all right? Remember, I'm using the Carby and Fusion Ox Steel Seasoning and that's why, you know what I mean, and it's low in salt and it's also vegan friendly, alright? It's not vegan food, but the Ox Steel is vegan friendly, alright? The Ox Steel Seasoning I'm using. So basically, yeah, check out the Carby and Fusion Sauce and Spice website. The link is in the description box and trust me, you can get it for buy. Alright, because it's up on them, them website. Alright? So that's what I've been using, and 100% is the best in the world. Alright? So shout out to everyone who watching the video, and I really appreciate it, guys, that take the time. And, you know what I mean, to watch this on an amazing recipe from Chef Ricardo today. Alright? It's a beautiful recipe, and it is an ox steel recipe. And, yeah, we will have one more recipe will be coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. So I would just say to you guys, stay tuned in, and that's the way. My ox still look when I cook it at home sometime in a different style. Anyway, we got a curry version coming up. Curry ox still. So basically, look forward for the curry ox still recipe from Chef Ricardo, alright? It's a beautiful one. Thank you so much, every one of you guys who put in the interest and watch the simple little recipe. Really appreciate it. Caribbean is amazing. To use in your ox steel. Okay, let me see what's going on for the life because through me they talk, someone, do, okay. Ah, thank you so much, my brother. Hold on the first, let me see what's going on. Let me get this fixed up the right and proper way. All right. All right, let me see what's going on for the life. Let me see what's going on for the life. You need to see what happened on the life. Alright. Now let me see what I want. Book off approach. Um, Dr. Bro, thank you so much for, for, for that twenty for that twenty-five US dollars, man. Y'all as a support chef for color. Thank you so much for that twenty US dollars, one hundred percent. Really appreciate it, alright? Now, we got so many, alright, we got Nicole, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. And, you know what I mean, as I said, I hate this. The ox, the ox steel recipe was on top, guys. And, um, this is part two, because I did part one yesterday, how I marinate the ox steel. And, this is part two, how I cook it, alright? So, basically, yeah, it's, an, it's just an amazing, I can see the pimento seed on top. The preventer seed turn off on top of it, all right? It's beautiful, lovely, and I really appreciate you guys supporting Chef Ricardo, all right? It's roughly about 40 minutes now around the stove, cooking, a little bit tired, all right? Um, yeah, a little bit tired, but yeah, it's, it's a good one, guys. Um, thank you so much, all my Instagram followers and audience. Thank you so much, really appreciate it for taking the time and watch this video. Alright, it's like roughly 40 minutes now I've been cooking this thing right here. So, yeah, why not get a little bit of rest. Alright, shout out to every one of you guys who watched this on an amazing ox steel recipe. Alright, as I say, I'm using the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice ox steel season. If you want to support Chef Ricardo, click in that baguette down the bottom and support Chef Ricardo. Alright, it's a beautiful ox steel recipe, guys, and trust me. 100% you guys definitely can make this at home that it doesn't complicate it and you know yeah you can make it and share some love for on Father's Day all right that's what I take the time out to say thank you so much eat good God bless you thank you so much eat good TV 
Thank you so much for coming on the show to you. Thank you guys. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful Sunday. The best chef arm and a jersey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Best chef on YouTube. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 100%. Dr. Bay, thank you so much for that 25 US dollars. You're always a support chef record, you know. Big up yourself, man. What if I love? What if I love and respect, all right? I really appreciate it. Yeah, Nicole, bless up yourself. Today is Sunday and a lot of people there who uh, do a few things, you know what I mean? But I just take the time to finish up the ox deal, yeah? And trust me, it was an amazing one from Chef Ricardo today. So if you're there warm right now, chilling, and you know what I mean, I listen to what Chef Ricardo I say, you know, we really appreciate it, alright? Because you don't have to do that. Isis in big up yourself, 100%. Chef Andre, big up yourself. Big up yourself, Chef Andre. 100%. Anyway, guys, if you're not following me, please follow me on Instagram and my YouTube channel. The link is in the description box. And remember to check out the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice Season. The link is in the description box. Get them oxtail season and share some love with the company. All right? It's a beautiful one. And really appreciate every one of you guys today to come in on the show. And watch this on an amazing video. Anyway, thank you guys. See you next time. And another episode will be coming up soon from Chef Ricardo. Bedtime tea tonight. Remember bedtime tea tonight, alright? With Chef Ricardo cooking. Thank you for watching.